it's uh it's been a while <laughs> Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and welcome to the start of my Reading Rush reading vlog. So it is the 22nd Monday, 12.30 in the afternoon. The reason why I have not filmed earlier than that or like the midnight countdown is because I was fast asleep. I have class at 6 a.m. this whole week, Monday through Thursday. And then after that today, Hi, Candace. I had to go take an exam for my other class directly afterward, so I just now got home. And the only thing that I've read today is something that I've listened to, and that is Getting Schooled by Emma Chase. Um, this is not on my Reading Rush TBR. It was just what I was listening to before um, the Reading Rush started. I don't know if it's going to count. I don't know, but I listened to an audiobook going there and back from mm, the school, the community college that I'm taking summer classes at. And I'm also in the middle of a buddy read. I'm reading Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. That was my class assignment. <laughs> With um, Emma from Muggle Glamour. I don't know if I'm going to put it on hold for the reading rush or I'm going to read my other things. I don't know. I honestly don't know if I'm going to read like anything this week. It's crazy. I have another test on Wednesday for the other class that I have. I have two classes. Math is taking over my life. There are two business and math classes and one of them is business calculus. Yay. But I went and got myself a little treat <laughs> after my test because my anxiety was through the roof today and this whole week and luckily my boss let me have the day off today because I'm just not feeling it at all. I'm hoping that I can read a short story from Because You Love to Hate Me today and um, maybe a saga volume maybe. I don't know. I also have to study and do homework for my other math class. Also, if you don't know what the reading rush is and you don't know my TBR and want to know about the books that I'm reading, like the summaries for the books that I'm going to be reading this week, I will link down below my reading rush TBR, which is to be read video. And that gives summaries for all of the books that I plan to read this week. I'll give y'all summaries, of course, for books that I did not mention in that um, uh, video. For example, Getting Schooled is a romance book about um, a football teacher coach and him reuniting with his high school sweetheart. Um, I'm loving it so far. I think I have two and a half hours left. And then Red, White, and Royal Blue. I bet so many people know what that's about but it's a romance book between the prince of england or prince of wales if that's the right terminology <laughs> um and the son of the first female president of the united states and it's like a hate to love romance there it's very popular on the book internet right now but anyway yeah i'm going to go eat some food that i bought along with this mugshake over here and watch some Outlander. I've finally gotten into Outlander. I watched the first like six episodes like when season one came out but then I just stopped. I don't know why. Um, so I'm on season two. The end of season one wrecked me. <laughs> I was expecting it. Like I was spoiled myself. I don't care about TV shows. TV shows I don't mind getting spoiled for. I spoiled myself for the end of season uh, one and uh, it broke me. Uh, watching it broke me. <laughs> did not feel good. <laughs> yeah, I still haven't read Outlander yet. Should I? Should I read the actual book? Comment down below. Anyways, I'm gonna go eat. Hey y'all, it's later in the day. I've read nothing. <laughs> I've been doing math homework and getting ready for the tests that I have in a couple of days. I'm currently working in my dad's office. Sorry, I'm keeping my voice down because people are asleep because it's 1130 at night. But I wanted to show y'all what my mess of a desk is for the next month, basically. So this is my life at the moment. <laughs> Nothing but math for the next month. I'm hoping to read maybe a saga volume or one short story today before I go to sleep, but we'll see and I'll probably update you tomorrow tomorrow's gonna be a little bit busier than it was today because i gotta study for 
my test, which is the day after. Hello, good morning everybody. Um, it's the next day and I am just in the parking lot for my class and I have actually completed two books so far. Like literally five minutes ago I finished Getting Schooled by Emma Chase. I don't know what I'm gonna read yet but I really 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 enjoyed it. Maybe like a 4.5 stars maybe? We'll see by the end of this video. I'll have like a definite answer. And then last night I read Saga Volume 2 and gave it a 5 out of 5 stars, of course. <laughs> um, I gave the first one 4 just because I didn't really get the backstory that I wanted with the main couple, but we got it in this one and I really enjoyed it. So I read that volume before I went to bed. So, so far I have two books under my belt. Um, I don't know what getting, I don't know what challenges they're gonna be completing. Um, we'll see. And then I just am about to download Getting Played by Emma Chase because there's the second book in the companion series for Getting Schooled. And I really enjoyed the first book, so you best believe I'm downloading the second book because I have like the Audible Romance package thing. So, um, I'm definitely downloading that. But other than that, I gotta go inside and um, go to class because I have a test for this class tomorrow. So, yay! Hey y'all, it is technically the next day, but later in the day, kind of, whatever. It's 2 a.m. <laughs> and I have not read anything today. I've listened to a little bit. I think it's called getting schooled or getting played. I'm getting the titles mixed up, whatever the second book in the series is, whatever. But I thought I would update you while I do my customary nighttime hair routine because your girl gets chronic migraines from her hair, so she has to braid it. Yeah, I listened to a little bit of my audiobook today and that's all I've done because <laughs> I have my um, first exam in my other math class in like eight hours <laughs> from now. Oh my god. I just made like a study guide for myself and, and then I tried to do my little practice test but I'm just so tired. Sorry, I'm kind of like rambling, talking about nothing, but honestly this vlog has like nothing in it. Doing a co two courses in the span of five weeks thing, I don't recommend it. <laughs> I just have not, my mental health is declining because of it. I haven't been eating as much as I should because I'm too busy thinking about math and don't really think about if my stomach is empty or not. And then... <laughs> My stress has led to my face being red and chapped. If you can see here, it's like red all around here. And then I've grown kind of like a a red chapped thing on my chest too. And it's spread to my shoulders and it's not so hot. <laughs> I'm just so frustrated with this class and I can't wait till it's over. It's 2 a.m. and I gotta get up and four hours. I'm gonna go to bed right now, cuddle with Mr. Oreo who is licking his butt as we speak. <laughs> hey you, booger. Hey, stop. You can just see like progressively through this video like all my nails popping off. <laughs> it's that time. <laughs> hey y'all, happy Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday, sorry for the light, sun, whatever. It's 9 a.m right now. I just got out of my test that I studied for last night. I think I did good. I got off an hour early, like class ends at 9.55 and it's 9 o'clock right now, so maybe I'll have like a little bit of time to read another saga volume maybe. I'm currently still listening to Getting Played and I am loving this, okay? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I think her writing is spot on. Her steamy scenes are perfection. I love just listening to it. I get so happy thinking about like getting in my car and driving somewhere because I get to listen to this book. Hey y'all, it's later in the day. It's I think six o'clock. I just got off of work, came home, fed the three little puppies, and I just finished listening to Getting Played by Emma Chase and I really enjoyed it.
I enjoyed it. Uh, I think I'm gonna give it a four out of five stars, probably. Earlier today, I read a little bit of Saga Volume 3. You wanna say hello? <laughs> Willow's coming! Willow's coming! Oh, the gang's all here! Anyway, I have this huge, like, weight lifted off of my shoulders because of me not having any more tests the rest of the week. But I have an assignment due tomorrow, so I have to start it today. So I'm going to do some math today, but I'm going to set aside some time to read. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I still have not read any stories from Because You Love to Hate Me. Um, I don't know. It just, it look, it's like 300 something page book right now, even if it is short stories. And I'm not in the mood. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go do some math homework, eat dinner, and I'll catch up with you guys later. Okay, hello. It's later in the day. It's 9 o'clock at night. I got my S'morio Oreo right here cuddling with me. And I am just about ready to read some books. I have the rest of Saga Volume 3. Also, by the way, the back of this is like probably my favorite cover art so far. I haven't really looked at the other ones yet. I'm really enjoying this so far. They don't have page numbers for these books, so I don't know what page I'm on. I decided not to pick up This Is Not A Love Scene, even though I want to read it so badly, because I need to read Meet Cute by Helena Hunting. So if you didn't know, I and a few of my other lovely friends here on booktube host a book club. I know in my previous video I stated how our book club name was For The Love Of Books, but actually, we changed our book club name to The Lovely Ladies. We thought that was more fitting. So whenever you hear me talk about The Lovely Ladies, or yeah, talking about Stacy and Jen and Ashley, and their channels will all be linked down below. But we are all reading Meet Cute by the month of July. Our live show is August 3rd. But yeah, this seems super cute. This is about... A girl who has like a crush on an actor and then she meets him and then they actually become friends and then it's like years later they reconnect or something like that I'm not sure sorry I'm reading the book that's why my face was over here this cover is so flipping cute it's around 370 pages maybe and I need to read this by August 3rd. And I haven't read, like, a full-blown book, like, a full novel since starting school. So I need to start it soon so I can finish it before August 3rd. I don't know what challenge this is gonna complete, though, for the reading rush. So we will see. I'm still gonna read the saga volumes in between me reading the this. So we'll see what happens. I think I'm just gonna finish volume three and then read maybe a chapter of Meet Cute and see what happens there. later I gotta whisper because everyone's asleep except me so I've already read and finished two things since talking to y'all I finished volume three of saga 
and I started and finished volume four. And I'm really enjoying it. I want to know what happens. <laughs> so yeah, I haven't started Meet Cute yet. I was just too tired and I wanted to read something that was easy, so I may even pick up the audiobook. Who knows? But I don't really like taking notes when listening to audiobooks because I listen to my audiobooks a lot in the car and I can't really write anything down in the car. And I really want to take notes when reading this book for our book club. We'll see what happens. Tomorrow's my last day of class for the week, Thursday. So I'll have a little bit more leniency in the afternoon after I work. So yay, and hopefully I get to read some more. Hey y'all, it's a couple days later. It is Friday night, actually. I didn't vlog yesterday, I don't think. I was super busy and super tired. And today I've been working all day. And yeah, I've been tired basically but I want to give you a little reading update I actually started and finished hurts to love you by Alicia Rye hello Oreo whoa <laughs> and I really really enjoyed it audiobook through Libby I really enjoyed it I accidentally read them out of order I read the first book like last month and this is the third book and I skipped the second one apparently so I need to go back and listen to the second book I also started Meet Cute by Helena Hunting. I am on chapter two, page 25. Not that far into it. But so far, I've laughed a little bit. Are only on 25 pages. So that's a good sign. And I cannot wait to see what this book holds in store for me. But right now, like for the past couple of hours, I've been watching Love Island. I found out about Love Island from Riley Marie. And uh, I'm really enjoying it on season one. And so I've been like binging Love Island right now but I'm super tired and my muscles are kind of achy so I am going to take a bath and watch some Love Island while in the bath. I also have my diamond painting over there that's what that is so I was listening to my book while diamond painting and I was watching Love Island while diamond painting so I was going back and forth. I plan to listen to some more of Meet Cute later tonight who knows I may also pick up another saga volume we'll see I'm just not I don't know why but with like all the stress of school like I'm not like keen on reading like a novel fully like I don't know my eyes I'll just fall asleep and I know it um, at least for like a graphic novel I know it only takes a short amount of time so that's why I read them well this is gonna change when I get out of school in three weeks but I'm like so tired all the time that like if I picked up a full length novel I would probably fall asleep and it would take forever to get through so and the audiobooks are really holding my attention right now so that's a plus hey you want to say hi no he's gonna lick his butt great oreo love you sorry i just popped back on in here because i just realized i forgot to tell you all what hurts to love you is about um it is the third book in the i think it's called oh, something you series by alicia rye a girl named eve and her falling for like her longtime crush even though there's like a big age difference between them. And she thinks that he doesn't like her because she had a crush on him as a kid and he didn't like her then. But um, turns out things may be different. He may actually like her. I really enjoyed this. One of the main things I really enjoyed was Eve. I love how Leisha Rai did this because like she's not a skinny mini in a book. I get a lot of books where romance books where um, our main character women are skinny minis and they can like pull off a teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini like you know what I mean I love the scenes where like Eve was wearing her like um like high-waisted swimsuits and it was really cute and this man like loved her and there's like even a part where like he said I love like how her back isn't like smooth how you can see like a little bit of a roll in her back like in the swimsuit you could see the roll in her back I know that sounds maybe weird but like I found that really wonderful to read about because like I got rolls in my back and like to think about a guy would find that attractive like I have yet to to, to to see somebody or know somebody who thinks that way so it's kind of like a really refreshing thing i've yet to like ever meet or know a guy that like like personally who's like oh yeah i date somebody who's overweight or not skinny so like 
I loved reading about a guy who like has abs and is fit or even if he wasn't fit like a guy just loving a girl be also like loving like the roles in her body <laughs> you know what I mean like I really 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 loved that but anyway yeah it's their story I enjoyed it I enjoyed it more than the first one actually um, and I have to continue on the second one, but I think the third one's gonna be my favorite one, to be honest with you. Sorry, this camera keeps shaking. <laughs> my arm is tired. Okay, I'm gonna hop in the bathtub. been a while it's probably over a week since the reading rush has ended <laughs> and I'm just now wrapping this up I was just super busy with school again I'll stop repeating myself and just tell y'all about all of the books that I read for the reading rush so in total I read eight books four of which were audio and the other four were physical reads except one of those physical reads was an ebook I didn't talk about that in the video though because I think I forgot about it in my vlog I don't know I actually didn't end up accessing like the reading rush website at all during the readathon because it kept crashing or something so I wasn't able to like complete any badges or get any badges because I wasn't able to get on the website so I think I completed five challenges so I'm gonna talk to you about what I read and the challenges that I completed okay so first I read the first three not first three I've already read the first book volume two three and four of the saga graphic novel series volume number two completely challenge for read a book you meant to read last year volume number three was completing read a book with a non-human main character in it and book number four completed the challenge for read a book with purple on the cover I gave book two five out of five stars I gave book three four out of five stars and I gave book four a four slash 3.5 out of five stars my least favorite in the series so far I think the next book that I read was getting schooled by Emma Chase I gave this a 4.5 out of five stars I listened to this on audio but I did not complete any of the challenges next book is the companion to getting schooled is getting played by Emma Chase I gave this one a four out of five stars and this did complete the challenge for read a book in the same spot the entire time I listened to this book in my car the whole time <laughs> next we have meet cute by Helena hunting I only read 64 pages of this during the readathon I finished it since then I also talked about how there was a book I read this for a book club that live show is already up if you want to go watch it read only like 65 pages listen slash listen to 65 pages of this book during the reading rush so I didn't technically complete it so maybe I only technically read seven and a, a fourth of a book for the reading rush. I don't know. Being too technical here. Um, I gave this book around a four to three point five out of five stars. I tell y'all why in the live show and I'll be coming out with my July wrap up very soon. Briefly talking about this. I may even also post a full length review for this book next i listened to hurts to love you by alicia rye i gave this book a five out of five stars i really loved it a lot if you are not a skinny mini like me nothing wrong with skinny minis my sister's a skinny mini love her but uh we don't get a lot of not skinny mini rep like in romance books so if you're into a little bit of a overweight fat plus size rep in your life probably check out Hurts to Love You by Alicia Rye. I really enjoyed it. And the book that I forgot to mention during the Reading Rush reading vlog earlier that I did read was Tarnished Crown by Erin Watt. This is a novella or a part of the Royals series by Erin Watt. I'm not sure which one. I think it's like 3.5 it was only like less than 100 pages but it tells the story of one of the brothers and their love interest what they did in their past and how they come together in the future blah 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 um it's kind of boring at times very forgettable don't even remember what happened i give it a three out of five stars average not as good as the series that's for sure so that was my reading rush reading vlog school for me ends in nine 
nine days, I'm about to say 10 days, it's actually nine days, so I will be over with school for the summer at least very, very, very soon, and I have around 10 days in between the fall semester. I'm gonna be taking two classes at my community college during fall semester so I can get into the school that I want to in the spring. Look forward to a wrap up and a book haul coming very, very soon to y'all. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. Please let me know down in the comments below if you've read any of these books and what you think about them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye. Mm -hmm.